Hi, this is the third video in the Vias 10X series that I have been presenting on YouTube. It has been quite a while now since Vias 101 and Vias 102 and I have been meaning to continue the series much sooner than this but I have not been able to find the time to do so. However, circumstances have changed for me and I find myself with more time on my hands so I am finally able to create some more videos. So this is the first of a number of videos where I'll be demonstrating a practical example of virus in action in a near real world environment. As the demonstration will be operating in an isolated environment in the lab, entities such as the internet will be simulated, in which the RFC 1918 address space 10000-8 will be used as our internet address range. We'll be using RFC 1918 address range 192.168.0.0/16 as our private addresses for all site lands, which, as it is in the real world, will not be allowed to be advertised by the internet. In our simulated environment, however, there will be one exception: our management network address range 192.168.1.0/24. This will be allowed to reach into the simulated environment so that we can demonstrate certain activities in the lab. So for this first video, we will just get through the main requirements. Familiarise yourself with the environment we will be installing on configuring the virus devices and we'll be going through the customer requirements and expectations. Overall, we will be configuring six virus devices and covering a range of configuration scenarios which will include firewall interface and zone based policies, port and network address translation, DHCP server configuration, site to site VPN configuration, will possibly go through DMVPN and possibly go through remote access VPN or RAS VPN. And maybe we'll go through some site to site VPNs with site with X509 certificates as well as pre-shared keys. So here's the scenario. We were recently approached by a customer called Bob's Toolworks. Bob's Toolworks is a hardware distribution company that provides bespoke hardware services to a loyal customer base built up over the years by word of mouth. After management restructuring at Bob's Toolworks, a change in the operational environment saw the introduction of mass production at the company. This saw the rapid expansion which resulted in the introduction of a number of retail outlets as well as the expansion of the head office. The company initially tried to develop their own in-house solution for managing their company network by using a home internet solution for the head office as well as each of the branch sites and using a public emailing system over the internet so that they can communicate with each other. But they quickly realised that this was not going to be a practical solution. So they have now requested a network solution to connect the branches together over secure network tunnels over the internet. So this is the setup for Bob's Toolworks. So basically we are going to be replacing all of Bob's uh, in-house home internet for each of his sites with a VIOS. So it has a head office at the bottom right, a southern branch, a west coast branch, a highlands branch and an east coast branch. We'll be adding a new branch for him, that's the first request that he asked was to set up a new vice for him on the northern branch, so that's what we'll be doing first. Basically the internet is 10.000-8 in our instance. And what you can't see is the management network, which is not on this page, which is 192.168.1.0/24, which is be the only RFC 19 address that will be allowed to go into the in in internet and propagate around. What you don't see here is inside the internet. We're going to have two servers. One server is a What's My IP server, and you'll understand the reason for that server in coming videos. So I won't I won't mention it at the moment. Uh, obviously at the head office you'll see that they've got a proxy for outgoing connections from their inside networks to the internet and a web server which will be used to advertise their wares to the internet. 
So basically what we're doing is we're replacing every single device out there with a VIOS and obviously we'll be setting up firewall and VPN and a whole bunch of other stuff. So basically just take a snapshot of this uh, picture so you'll be able to use it as a reference as I go through future videos. Although, although I will be referencing this one from time to time, it might be better for you to get a snapshot. So the next video that's going to come through the chain will be the configuration of this new northern branch virus box.